Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost, Urban Exploration. Uh, it's my turn to do the 30 minute lunch challenge here. I'm here at the uh, uh, this abandoned like slaughterhouse, you know. I had a bad experience here a few nights ago. And uh, honestly, I just, I want to come back and I want to face this place and I want to see if I can get anything else. And I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, I've been kind of having some nightmares lately too. And I just really want to face this place and just, I'm going to do my 30 minutes. I'm going to go savage. I'm going to do this. Let's see what happens. And you guys are going to come along with me and hopefully we'll have some fun. All right. Let's do it. All right. And. This place is. This place is crazy, man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, it was a battle. I, I had to really fight with myself because I wasn't going to come out here. Uh, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to, uh, come back but you know this is what we do right come here your face what scares us the most we face what's in front of us and we move forward if you let things beat you down, you let things chain you down. Unfortunately in life, you're never really gonna get anywhere, so. What the heck was that? Uh, did you see that freaking, what was that shadow? It was a freaking shadow right there in my light. Where did it come from? Okay. All right, hopefully I got that on camera, but that, sh that joke was weird. And it was right after I heard that weird noise. Anyway, we're gonna come in here. Maybe 30 minutes, we're gonna explore this place. Yeah, you know, I got a bad feeling. I got a feeling in the pit of my stomach, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that tear me down. I'm not gonna let whatever happen, I'm not gonna let that win. I'm not gonna let it hold me back. I'm gonna power forward. I'm gonna do this place. Joe has already come back. He did his 30s, 30 minute challenge. So you know what? I'm gonna freaking do it. I'm gonna freaking get in here and I'm gonna do it. I guess this used to be a, a slaughterhouse. It's pretty evident because it looks like these are sort of giant feed troughs. sure how long this place has been here man but it's evident it's been here for a long time and there's evidence that people come in here obviously they spray paint it's pretty typical of old abandoned places but there's also evidence that uh, people come in here and do all kinds of ritualistic stuff or at the very least mess around with symbology they may not understand Uh, 
Definitely get a heavy, heavy feeling in here now. I'm hearing something that sounds like crying. Where these big things were. It looks like sort of a, like a feed trough, maybe, like or a, a mill that would bring down corn potentially. That's usually what they feed eating cows corn, fatten them up. I mean. Who knows how much blood is in these grounds. All I know is the atmosphere is thick, heavy, uncomfortable. Hello? Stop me. I definitely hear voices out. Oh. It's pretty crazy. That's one thing that stood out the last time I was here is voices. Lots and lots of them. Some of which almost sound like coming in as you speak. Almost sound like multiple th people are having a conversation about you as you're standing here walking around. Whew. It's crazy, man. I just, I know I, I sound different. <clears throat> like I said, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I've been having some, some pretty vivid dream since this place not even really necessarily of this place just of just lots of craziness you know it's like one of those things where you don't even remember what you dreamed about you just know it was freaking crazy me, your healing light upon me and all around me. And Lord, reach out and touch all those people following us, watching us, and keep them and their families safe from evil, from harm, from the darkness that wants to consume. Lord, show me the way, the path, and uh, be my guide and strength. As I walk through this place and I face my fear. See me through this so that I might grow stronger. Amen. I swear I just heard a growl. It sounded like it was coming from that building over there. So 
and didn't like that I prayed. Something didn't like that I asked for the light of God to enter this place. I will not be stopped. Whatever it is here, move on. I just heard a moan. Move on. Cross over. Leave. and cold air coming through. We ought to venture over there. <laughs> I'm sure all of you right now are like, no, don't do it. <laughs> We're going. We're going. to do it right if not now then when if not now then never Go boys and girls. See these right here. They're like gigantic feeding troughs. So they would have probably had all the cows in here feeding. It goes way down there. And it goes way in there. Most of it's crazy overgrown at this point. Wild. I've never seen anything like this. Probably have people walking up and down these aisles. 
here pouring the food in. Not sure what these poles are for other than maybe holding the chains for the cows or something. It's amazing how this is still here. After all these years, it's obviously been a very long time. Hearing whispers all around me, guys. As I come into this building, man, I got a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach again, just like last time. But you know what? I am protected. I am not afraid. This is what we do. We go savage and we get things done. This thing is unbelievable. How many whispers I hear all around me. I'm just trying to keep my calm, keep my composure. Oops, there's a bat flying around. Don't hit me in the face, Mr. Bat, please. I'll let you do your thing, you let me do my thing. I heard I just heard laughing. It was like ha ah. That's crazy. Look, there's a bat. Do not hit me in the face, bat, please. This is like some kind of office, look. Almost looks like a combination. I mean, more than likely this is just rotted out, but it almost has this, what the freak is that? Someone just touched my arm. Let's grab my arm, it's weird. It almost has this look of fire damage, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's really hard to breathe in here. Whew. out this pretty sizable door coming here alone was a terrible idea <laughs> but you know what Come in there. I 
can feel it pulling me. But you know what? I'm gonna come here first. I'm in control of this situation. I am fully prepared this time. Sure, there must be like more in these woods too. Ah, Jesus. I feel like something squeezed the mess out of my hand. You know what? You want me to come into that room? You know what? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Coming into the room. God is with me, and nothing can hurt me. Nothing. All right, guys. I hear footsteps in there. Don't touch my arm again. Are you freaking kidding me? I swear I saw something run across that freaking window there. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go in there. So much talking. It's all around me. It's making my ears feel weird. A lot of whispering. Can't make it even out. As soon as I walked in, it's like a pressure in my head. Too many voices. Too many. Too much. Not enough order. I can't make out what they're saying. Getting real lightheaded. You know what? I am safe. I am protected. Maybe I got caught on my shirt or something. I don't know. I don't like this room, guys. My flashlight's actually starting to vibrate, which means it's gonna die. So it means I gotta make this quick. The last thing I want is to be stuck back here with no lights. It was bad. The weight, as if I'm. I just can't breathe. You know, it might be just straight, 
pure, unadulterated fear and pain, suffocating. I think that's what this building has in it. And it has begun to run rampant as it starts to rot away. It begins to leak all around, unfettered, fill the air. Gas, a poisonous gas. I think that's what it is, guys. And it makes it so hard to breathe. It's like your your chest is being pressed in. It's like light little hands on your throat. Tightening and tightening and tightening. Very slowly, just enough to make it difficult to breathe. That's what it feels like. The weight on your shoulders. Bearing down on you. Making it hard to walk. It's just pure motion. Wow. Definitely feel a lot better, but I still hear, I hear walking around, man. I hear footsteps everywhere. This building's not as thick, like over here. It's not as heavy. You hear voices, but it's not the same feeling. I think the other building was probably processing. This is food. Food is positive. came back here guys but you know what like I said I did not want to be beaten I didn't want to be swallowed up by the darkness the fear I came here to earn my freedom I am in control and I am protected those woods <laughs> all right okay that was alive that I can be scared of <laughs> holy moly I did it. I came out here. I faced my fears. I made it through and I survived. This whole thing's surrounded by high brush, so who knows what was back there. Could have been a person, could have been an animal. All I know is my light's about to go out. And I do not want to find out what's back there. Guys, thanks so much for coming with me. It means a lot, all your support. I know the world's crazy out there. We gotta keep your head on straight. Don't let fear consume you guys. Don't let your emotions consume you. Be in control of your life. Be in control of your own thoughts. Be an individual. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Comment, like, subscribe. If you're interested in your merchandise, check us out, ugbrothers.com, always there as well as Teespring down at the bottom of all these videos. Um, also guys, we are changing our P.O. box. So if you're gonna mail anything, just hold off. We'll announce that soon. Oh, I'm excited. 
about what's to come guys we're gonna keep moving forward keep holding strong keep bringing out some content to you guys anyway much love to you guys peace